So usually um, this is how your Mac desktop would be. And so what I do, um, instead of going under settings, you just can go to this little Apple logo and you'll be able to find system preferences. And this is where you will find everything for accessibility. So once I click that, you will have this and you go into accessibility right there. Um, so when you open accessibility, you can choose to put a shortcut to it in your menu bar, which is right here. So if I click that little check mark, you should be able to see it right here. And once again, when you click this logo, you will be able to see all the controls that you have set um, for accessibility. Or you can always, you know, click here and you uh, switch up your preferences. Next, um, we will be going through all of these, but the first one is um, vision. So there are different setting sections and so you know, particularly in vision, there's voiceover, zoom, display, speech. And in zoom, you can zoom in on any part of your screen by using keyboard shortcuts shown below. Um, so for example, if I put this, you know, if I put this and then I open up a new page, I, I won't be necessarily able to sort of open two um, windows at the same time and show us like screen share with you. But basically, if let's say I said, I just go on my keyboard and I put in these three um, uh, icons that you know, you'll, you will find on your uh, keyboard, you will be able to zoom in, for example, or zoom out. So these are the, you know, keyboard shortcuts that you can use to either zoom in or zoom out. Um, and then in display, you can change the display color of your screen, the contrast of your screen, and the size of your cursor or mouse. So to make this presentation much more um, easy to follow, I changed my cursor from normal to relatively, you know, larger than the usual uh, size. You can also play around with your contrast. So right now it's in normal and you can see if I just, you know, bring it up, it'll change it. Same thing here, you can basically change around um, the color. Next is speech. So speech allows you to have computer alerts announced out loud. You can also enable your system to read selected text on your screen, and you can also select the voice and speed of the voice that is used. So this is where you enable announcement. So announcements are things like if you get a mail, you will get a little, you know, thing on the side. It's sort of like how you would use your phone, basically. It's the notifications that you would get on an iPhone type thing that you just have on your MacBook or your iPad. Um, so same thing here. So if, so you know, you can change the voice that you have and then you can also put, set the rate at which they would speak. Um, next are media settings. So, there's descriptions which describe what is happening in videos you are watching. Um, this feature is subject to availability on what you are watching. So for instance, there might be certain videos where you might have this checkbox in and you know you have it working for certain videos or certain um, websites, but it might not work for others. Next are captions. So, whoops, sorry. So captions provide closed captions to video content you are watching. This is also subject to availability on what you are watching. So you can obviously play around with this as well. You can set it to classic, you know, larger text. You can also add um, different styles. Um, and of course, this is where you just, you know, click it for you to have uh, that option. Next are the hearing settings. Um, so there's only one option under hearing settings, which is audio settings. Here you can enable your screen to flash when an audio alert occurs and change your audio to play mono from your speakers. Um, so let's say if I put in this and I can always press, you know, test screen flash. And that's basically what would happen when you get an alert. So for example, you can get a message that comes through um, and you know, you get that notification which you set, you know, uh, previously. 
And then you would also have a screen that would flash as well. So it's just uh, to reinforce um, that incoming message for you to know, you know, hey, there's a message that's coming in. Um, interaction settings. So there's dictation, Siri, keyboard, um, mouse, and trackpad. Um, dictation lets you type text by saying it out loud. You can change the commanding phrase that tells your computer to type what you say. Um, this is very useful when you have, when you're writing a book or when you're, you're writing a letter, for example, or an email. Um, but I should mention to you that most of this, you know, um, aspect, um, dictation, you will find it on, for example, on your email as well, or on Word as well. So it really depends on what you're trying to use it for. But, you know, I'm just pointing it out that it's there. You can, so you just put it down here and you'll have a bunch of different, you know, words or um, uh, commands that you can just set it at uh, for it to recognize when you start dictating. Next is Siri. Um, so most of you might have Siri on your phone and you might be unaware that it's on your laptop as well. Well, it is. Um, Siri allows you to use voice commands uh, to get your computer to perform simple tasks like composing an email, FaceTiming someone, or searching something on the internet. So I can enable um, to type to Siri, or I can also just, if you have a newer Mac, usually, you might also have just enable Siri where you can just um, start talking a lot and it'll just start working. And I say she, or it's a it, um, they will, definitely look up things for you or do basically do the command that you are telling them to do. Um, there's also keyboard. So in keyboard, uh, you turn on sticky keys or slow keys, which means you have to hold a key down longer for it to work. There are more keyboard settings under keyboard preferences. Um, I'm not that familiar with this, to be honest. Um, but I do know that with with this accessibility key, you can also block some of the um, uh, some of the um, keys that you might have a tendency to accidentally press. So, for example, when I type, I have a tendency to always um, click on the one or the two, or I have the tendency to click random letters that you know I'm not when I'm typing really fast. So that's when I would basically go in here in keyboard preferences and just set that. Finally, mouse and trackpad. So under mouse and trackpad, you can change the speed at which you need to double click something. Um, and spring loading is, which is right here. Um, spring loading is when a folder opens from you, um, when you hover your mouse over it, you can change how long it takes to open that folder. Um, so basically what it does is that you just, if I have an app, let's say I have that up there. Oops, sorry, I'm just gonna move this. I have this up here. If I just keep you know hovering over it or clicking it for a while then it just basically sort of you set it to either short or long and it'll understand okay hey like that's what she wants to open or that's what she wants to use um so yeah these are the, um so what i went in more in details are the ones that you would most likely use um so i think most if you know most of you would agree with me it would be display possibly speech um, the captions, um, Siri, and possibly even um, dictation if uh, you are a student or if you are doing any kind of paperwork, then dictation might be um, very useful in that. But otherwise, the others, you know, they're there. I'm just letting you know they're there, but um, they're less commonly used. So yeah, so that's it. <laughs>